This is the D2 Rec Series Dual Test Cart Dually Style. This series comes equipped with a quick fill pump that provides 12 gallons per minute at 120 PSI. For the liquid supply, you can use any typical garden hose with city water or connect straight to any external reservoir you may have. This is the pressure pump. The D2 series offers various models with a wide range of flows and pressures up to 40,000 PSI. For this model, here you have your air inlet port, your air pressure gauge, your air regulator, and your air consumed gauge. The output pressure gauge for all high pressure units from 15,000 PSI to 40,000 PSI are mounted on the control panel, similar to the photo shown here. Liquid inlet ball valve, quick fill air ball valve, pressure pump air ball valve. This here is the outlet pressure port, outlet pressure gauge, and the isolation valve is over here. And this is your bleed valve. This is the output side view for all high pressure units from 15,000 PSI to 40,000 PSI. As you can see here, there is no pressure gauge because it is mounted on the panel. This particular model is rated for 5,000 PSI. Now, we will proceed to do a sample test at 2,000 PSI. Before you connect your air supply, make sure your air regulator is all the way backed out and your air select valves are closed. This is to prevent automatic pressurization. Once you connect your air supply, your air pressure will be reflected on your air pressure gauge. For our sample test, we will be pressure testing this hose. Before pressurization, make sure to bleed out any air bubbles. Now, open your component's purge valve to allow any air bubbles to flow out. Next, make sure that your bleed valve is closed before you open your isolation valve. Now that you've done that, you can open your liquid inlet. Imagine we're testing a large pressure vessel. In that case, we would need to utilize the quick fill pump. Open the air valve. Open your air regulator slowly. Suppose that your pressure vessel is now full. We will begin to pressurize to 2000 PSI. Keep in mind that we are operating two pumps with one panel. That being said, when one air valve is closed, the other must be open. Now that the vessel is full, close the quick fill pump air valve and open the pressure pump air valve. This is the regulated air pressure used by the quick fill pump. To begin pressurizing, you have two options. Option one, lock your air regulator and control by opening your air valve slowly. Once you reach desired pressure, close air valve. Option two is to back out your air regulator and start over to have precise control. We have stopped at 1000 PSI to inspect for any physical leaks. Once we are finished inspecting for leaks, we can continue to pressurize to desired pressure. We have found zero leaks in the system, so now we will continue to pressurize to 2000 PSI. We have reached our desired pressure of 2000 PSI. And if you look over here, you can see we have 80 PSI of air consumed. And remember, this is your sharp air pressure. In this case, we have to hold pressure for 15 minutes at zero leaks to pass the test. To hold pressure, close the isolation valve. 
We have passed the test at 15 minutes with zero leaks. Now we will release the pressure back to zero. And now we will proceed to release air pressure. In this particular model, I recommend to keep the pump air valves closed. This is to prevent automatic pumping when hooking up your air supply for your next test. This is the Hydrorex D2 series made in the USA. For more information, please visit us at hydrorex.com.